Higgins, it is I, Bugsy. I wanted to say some. I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, because I wanted to explain a little something. Guys, I love Goku. Mm, to a point, I do still like Shrek. Um, you know? But we got, guys, we gotta stop trying to get, like, characters we know that Nintendo can't really get. I mean, yeah, I guess it would be cool to have Goku in Super Smash Brothers. But you know what? You know what? I know you guys are probably going to be like, It is, but that doesn't really count. And all this other sh all this other stuff you're probably going to say to me. But, Goku? I mean, yes. Nanko Bandai did work on... Nanko Bandai did work on the game. But, it's not like they own the rights to... Dragon Ball Z itself, freaking, see, they'd have to go to freaking, uh, fun, they'd have to go to all these companies that own Dragon Ball Z, you know how long that, how much long that would actually take, that would take so, so, so long just to get Goku in the game, kids, I'm just trying to tell you, licensing ain't no joke, it can take a long time, and that's why, that's, I mean, People are trying to get uh, jump J Star's victory verses in English, and that took a while because you gotta license all these characters, and it took them a while to get. And you guys need to understand, um, not all these characters are going to be in Smash Brothers. They can only get the ones that they can get. And I'm not trying to act like a know it all. I'm not trying to rain down. I'm not trying to rain on your parade. But you gotta think about it. Again, I hate saying that word because people say I use it too much. You gotta think about this through a kind of legal. You gotta think of. You gotta think about this through kind of a business standpoint and a whole bunch of other standpoints that I, I won't really name right now. But you guys gotta think. They can only get what these companies can get them. Not every company is gonna say yes. We will have this character in Super Smash Bros. Yes, we'll have this character. We can only get what we can get. And you all need to understand that. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna cuss. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna do my usual thing where I just rain down the rain down my cussing. I'm just saying, guys, you have to think about this logically. The only reason we're getting Banjo Kazooie is because you know Phil Spencer says you know we worked with rare. We went with Nintendo on Rare IP in the past, so there's no issue. Square Enix, Square Enix, on the other hand, I mean, I would want Sora and Super Smash Bros. myself. More, more than anything. But, you know, Square Enix and Nintendo kind of have, like, a kind of bad back and forth. Um, but I think it's possible for them. But not all companies are going to be like, yeah, use our character for this game. You gotta, you gotta think about it from what they could get. And you gotta think about it that way. I'm not saying it's impossible, but licensing takes forever, kids. You have to understand, it takes a very long time and a very long and arduous process. Hell, that's the reason why a certain anime that, we've that we saw on Crunchyroll that we want to have an English dub We'll probably not get an English dub, and that's why it takes so long. It took Penny and Stocking long, and it took Rosary and the Vampire to get an English dub itself. It's gonna, it takes all these, it takes, it's gonna take an extra long time for some of these characters to even be out. I'm not saying give up hope, but I'm saying this is not going to fly, kids. Think about the stuff that Nintendo can get, and... Maybe if people, you know, when people vote for the characters that they want, we're gonna get. I say, I say, Banjo Kazooie has a better chance. I'd say, Sora has a better chance of happening. Um, Gino has a better chance of happening. Goku, no. Shrek, no. I don't think DreamWorks is cool with that. I mean, and all you guys wanted like. Shrek is love, Shrek is life, Shrek, and, uh, you guys understand, uh, DreamWorks would never allow that to happen, I'm sorry, 
Like, I am sorry, guys, but they are never going to let, like, they are never going to have Shrek, um, have ogre scent and shoot ogre semen everywhere. You guys need to understand that that's not going to happen. I mean, you know, Rayman, even though the leak was, you know, now we know the leak is fake. Rayman has a better chance of getting in because, you know, they, you know, they're cool with Ubisoft and Ubisoft is cool with them. So you gotta, you gotta think about, like, if some of these studios are cool with it. You gotta look at it through that. It's a very, like I said, it's a very long process with a lot of unknown factors. And you need to think about this sort of thing before you start, before you start going to the Smash Bowling and going like, Hey, I want... I want a uh, freaking Pinky and the Brain to be in it. I want like these characters to be in it. You have to think about this logically. You know. Most characters have a better chance of coming in, but if you want anime characters, I got I got a I got a Super Smash Bros game for you. It's called Super Smash Flash. It has Sora, it has Ichigo, it has freaking Goku. And yes, it's a fan game, but it's the, like, this is the closest thing you'll ever get to having Goku, Ichigo, um, Sora, in Smash. Although I do think Sora has a better chance of being in Smash. So you gotta think about this. You know, but even though I think Sora does, but we gotta think about this through, we gotta think about this logically, guys. Nintendo is giving us a chance to get to get these characters, you know, to get some characters that we want. I know people that have, like, a whole bunch of move sets planned for certain characters, like Banjo, and a whole bunch of things for our characters that couldn't get into Smash that Nintendo can get. But you guys gotta be like, but you guys gotta be logical about this. You really have to. You gotta stop trying to get every freaking character under the sun because they can only do what they can. Uh, we gotta think about this: how how can Sakurai implement this and stuff like that? Because the because Sakurai put his blood, sweat, and tears in this game. The man, the man put himself in a uh, he, he worked himself to exhaustion to give us this game. And you guys want to like get hit, you guys want to get all this all these characters that aren't really video game characters. And no, having them have licensed video games by certain developers do not count. They have to be video games to their they have to be video game characters to their very core. Because really, what Super Smash Bros. is is a celebration of video game characters, uh, our video game history, our video game heritage. That's what you guys need to think. Oh, we're not gonna have Shrek. We're not gonna have Goku. Think of video game characters, my friends. People, things that originated as video game characters. Okay, okay. Glad we talked about this. I'm telling you, if any of you ruin this, if one of you ruins this, everybody's gonna hate you. So have fun. I'm gonna. Put my I'm gonna put Gino in and see if they see if they can get him in. And for the rest of you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, you gotta be think of only characters that originated in video game form, not characters from movies, not characters from cartoons, characters that that exist solely in video games. That's all I gotta say. And no, you can't get freaking PlayStation characters, so don't even try. Alright, I'm done. See you guys later. Stop putting in characters that aren't video game characters. And I say that we're done. Because really, guys, I mean, I want Kamen Rider to be in freaking Super Smash Bros., but I know it ain't gonna happen. That's why I didn't even put it in the ballot. So... There it is. See you later, guys.